tour is. Man, they may be people flocking in from all over other places to see this show. Really, Time really. to play Judge Jamie. Let me remind everybody y'all are playing for genuine Diana sausage. We've had these up here a couple of years, so they feel yeah. about expiration date. Probably about to run out on these. Wrong answer. Right answer. All right, here we go. Indicator, according to Indicator Daily this morning, they're getting some more new restaurants over there. Joe's World Famous Pizzeria, not no. one of them. <laughs> but they're getting an eatery that's the first combination in North Alabama to have two restaurants in one location. What are those? So what would they sell, each of them, to be right Dairy here? Cream and Wendy's. Taco <laughs> Bell Pizza Hut. Dairy Cream and Wendy's. Dairy Queen and Wendy's. I'll let you have it anyway, just because you guessed and nobody else said anything. Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You said restaurants. You was right on there. Yeah. Yeah. You said restaurants. Yeah, the right restaurant. It's not our restaurant. Our restaurant. So. Dunkin' Donuts? Well, you can eat inside, what it says here. We're getting Dunkin' Donuts across Hey, the shut up. Yeah, I know that. Right across the road. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't care if you are Christian. Uh, <laughs> editorial, Decatur Daily. He's going to test you. <laughs> oh, he's been tested. You're on my list next. Oh. <laughs> Reckon we squeeze him on the front? Yeah, shoot you. Push, push me we'll bump Randy Brown out. He don't let me sit up in front of him. Anyway. <laughs> Economy causing political turmoil. What percentage, percentage of Americans have less than $500 in savings? 70 percent. 33 percent. 40. 45. 85. 90. Who said 60? Danny, 69. number four. 63 percent of Americans have less than $500 wow. to take care of a medical emergency. I fit that category. Right up your ass. Oh, good. <laughs> I don't believe you. Joe, know. we're going to talk to you in a second, but aren't you doing the Spirit of America Festival this weekend? If it doesn't rain. <laughs> it's not going to rain. Who is the winner this year of the Barrett Shelton Freedom Award? I don't know. I don't even know. Come on. Barrett Shelton Who knows? I don't even know what that Lee is. Lee Sintel. Lee Sintel is the winner. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Lee Sintel. Lee, Lee is the tourism director of the of, uh, state of Alabama. Yeah, he's he's an Decatur awesome Daily. guy. Awesome, yes. awesome individual. Awesome he worked guy. at the Chamber of Commerce in the, as their first director in Decatur in 1980. Wow. He's, uh, worked he's at wonderful. Daily. All right, have y'all heard about this new Civil War movie? <laughs> With your yes. buddy, McConaughey. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Have you heard about it? The I've State of Jones? Oh, yeah, I saw the preview. Yeah, yeah. 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 The State yeah. of Jones. But it, it, you know, it came out. Nice guy. Yeah. What county in Alabama? Lawrence. Lawrence. Morgan. <laughs> Lauderdale. Winston. Winston is a <laughs> right answer number four. The Free State of Winston. The movie star knows that. Okay. Yeah. 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 The Union too. It's okay. Dang the movie star knows that. Dang Dang he's got early leave. Actually, we did a, I did a country over story there. You're talking about some rednecks. <laughs> and they marched down the, and everything. Sing. You remember that song, The Woman <laughs> Called Wood? <laughs> Free State of Winston. Yeah. They still... Yeah, they still, the they still believe in that. They do. We would probably all be uh, better off if they succeed. Oh, they'd be a different drum over this here, is, too. Yeah. This <laughs> is the time of year where Silver King and Silver Queen is abundant. Corn. Yeah. When you cook it, mm. how long are you supposed to boil it in unsalted water to get it from being not so tough? Three and a half know, minutes. We grill it. Five minutes. Twelve minutes. <laughs> Three and a half minutes. Three minutes. Four minutes. Ten. Let me, let me find the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen minutes. And it's in look. It's way too oh, long. What'd you say? I three and a half minutes. It's short. I got to give it to Roy. No more than three minutes. Yeah. I don't cook yeah. corn. Yeah. Danny, you want this to go along with your other one? Just one body tip <laughs> Right, here we go. Fresh that's corn. Left over Maddie. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah. Alabama oh, football. Yeah, that's good. Have fresh corn. Can you carry on conversation? No, we're done. Alabama now. football. They did a thing comparing Gene Stallings to Alabama teams now. According to the NCAA study, the average Division I A football program had expenses in 1995 of 4.7 million. Adjusted to these days, that's seven and a half million dollars. Last year, what was Alabama's total football expenses? Nine point two million. How much? Nine point two million. No, it's like twenty million. Yeah. Fifteen million. 
80 million would save him. 35. 48.6 million. You gotta pay for the best. What a difference. Well, that's what he does. He goes around and pays Ben Benghazi report comes out. Front page on USA Today this morning. She's guilty. guilty. Bad they guilty. Won't find her guilty. Not guilty. Horse manure. Yeah. No pointing gun. No smoking gun to him. Because who did the who did the two year survey? Democrats. The of Democrats. Of course. Yeah. Who did exactly. the survey? The Democrats. Who in this room drives a Volkswagen? <laughs> Who in this room owns more than one? Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'll get this answer. Uh -oh. it's going is going to pay out how much? Ooh. A hundred. Oh, no, no. I missed it. Trillion. I'm going to say no, 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 no. Ten. It's got to be like a billion. Oh, it's a billion. Uh, I, just, I just read this. $14 billion. Uh, $14 billion. Fifteen billion. Fifteen billion dollars. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah no, are you right. diesel? No, I don't have diesel. I've got every one of them so far. Yeah, <laughs> you're winning, Roy. Right? <laughs> you get all set. Exactly, you get all that big can of that. Who was, he just died, Mark Mac Rice. Mark Mac Rice? Mark Mac, Mac Rice. He wrote a famous song and he just passed away oh. at, at 82. Buddy Ryan. What was the song? Popular, very popular, was number Christian one. Christian song? In the 60s. Was it a Christian song? 60s. In the 60s. That's before my time. <laughs> yeah. We I'm grew sorry. up listening to it on Lake Track. <laughs> I'm sure we did. Wilson Pickett. Oh. Uh, Wilson Joe Pickett, Coffee. the singer. Oh, we Sit. own one. Sitting on the dock of the bay? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mustang Sally. Oh. See, Joseph would have got that fancy idiot. Mustang Man, what am I? Teresa, the way this game works, I have to question. I'm trying to hell. How many years has it been? Baseball, right up your alley, Carl. I don't know nothing about baseball. <laughs> I didn't refer to you. Know. <laughs> you folks playing at home, too. Pay attention. How many years has it been since Ted Williams hit 400? 75 years. 75 years, right answer, but oh, not sorry, the right But here's the question. What Atlanta Braves player oh, exactly. is in the top 15 all time? Of all time baseball averages. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. no, um, Dale Murphy. Chipper Jones. Larry Chipper Wayne Jones, Jones would be almost right but wrong. Oh. <laughs> the Braves haven't had a lot of good Ralph people. Gore. So. <laughs> 1970. Ralph Gore. Rico Cardi. Rico Cardi. Yeah. Three sixty. I wasn't even born. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Moving on to some hard Just questions. Just a baby. <laughs> Fifteen things, Kelly Casey, you know Kelly, mm -hmm. had this song on AL.com. Fifteen things to know about the number one song of all time, obviously, Sweet Home Alabama. Well, here's a few questions about that. When did this, what year did the song first come out? 1968. 1972. 1983. I'll, I'll hold that question for later until the end of this, this segment. Who was president when the song came out? Nixon. Nixon is the right answer. 1974 is when the song came out. Who was governor of Alabama? George Wallace. George Wallace. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. I interviewed him, huh? I interviewed him. <laughs> who performed the song at a tribute to the three members who were killed in the plane crash? The monkeys. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Was it right? Neil Young. No, you weren't right. <laughs> Here you go, Danny, right up your alley. Name me three movies. It was in like six movies. Sweet Home Alabama. What movies was it in? The song. Well, let's see. Uh, Sweet, Home Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. That's right. That is one. I the movie with Reese Witherspoon. That's Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, he just got his head up. He knows her personally. Gone uh, with the wind. <laughs> Good answer, but no. Blindside. <laughs> what? Blindside. Blindside or whatever. No, I, think I, no. I think I know that, but I really don't. Forrest Gump. Oh, oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a great movie. I should have got that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Crimson Tide. Oh, my cousin Vinny. <laughs> Joe Dirt. Love Joe, Joe, Dirt. Dirt. Joe Dirt. And one of my all time favorites, Con Air. Oh, yeah, that's I love that movie. Yeah, that's a really good movie. Uh, Despicable Me. <laughs> and one you would never guess. Chain, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, no. oh. Oh. 